Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 125. Today we're going to be going over the Flippy module. The Flippy module is just a really simple module that allows you to page between specific types of content on your site. So you can use it for articles or blog posts, and it basically allows you to have a pager that allows you to flip through your various posts on your site. So if you have a blog and you want to easily allow users to flip to the next blog post or the previous blog post on your Drupal website, this module can help. But before we get started, as always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codecrowdy.com, sign up for the newsletter over here on the left. And if you haven't already, check out drupalize.me. They're today's sponsor, and they have a whole bunch of Drupal and jQuery related videos. A bunch of them are free, so go ahead and check them out. And if you do decide to sign up, use the coupon code CK20FEB, and you'll get 20% off. Let's go ahead and get started. This one's going to be nice and quick, just because it's a very simple module. But as you can see, I have the 7.x-1.o version of the Flippy module installed. There's not a lot of configuration for this module. You simply go into the content type that you want to enable this for. And it is based on content type, so you can't use it to flip through different types of content. It's only one specific content type. So I'll go ahead and I'll select article in this case. And you'll see there's an option for Flippy settings in your content type settings. You go ahead and click that and select that you want to build a pager and you have a few more options you can select. The first is to add uh, semantic previous and next links to the document head and I'll show you what that does here in a second. You can select a different type of pager. You can have it display the node title, the node ID, or you can use custom text. We'll go through each of these options really quickly. I'll leave custom text and I'll have the links say previous and next. You can also have it show first and last links. I'll leave it at the defaults after that and I'll save it and I'll go down and find an article piece of content. I'll select this one right here. As you can see, there's previous and next links. If I click on the previous one, it brings me to the previous page or previous piece of content and it allows me to easily flip through all the various content, in this case all articles, on this Drupal site. So as you can see, now that I have flipped through quite a few, we're going to go ahead and look at some of the other options with the Flippy module. So I'll go ahead and I will come back to article, and I'm just going to change it to show first and last links, and we'll leave it saying first and last, and I'll save this. I will come back here. You can see now there's a first link and a last link. So go ahead and go to the first link. You can see it brings me to a relatively lower node ID. So you can tell it's one of the first ones. And you can see once I'm on the first link, there are not, uh, there was no next and last. And if I'm on the last link, there's no, there's only the first and the previous. So as you can see, it it's just like a pager. Once you get to the end or the beginning, you can only go one direction but it works really easily. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other options here. Let's go ahead and change it to node title and we won't show the first and last links anymore and we'll also add these semantic previous and next links. So I'll go ahead and save that. As you can see now it tells me the node titles and I can flip through them so I can see the node title. Node ID was very similar except it gives you the node ID instead of the node title what the semantic uh, links that were added to the header I'll show you what those are if I look into the head tag here you can see there's a link for next and a link for previous and it just lists the actual href or the location of that link so it adds those links to the head tags and 
as mentioned before, this can be used on any content type. So if you want it to flip through pages, you simply come into page, the page or the basic page content type, and you can add it for that. Also, one thing to note, if you want the the actual pager to be in a different location on your content type, it's listed just like any other field. So you come into your content type, you can come into manage display and you can change the location. So I'm going to go ahead and move the pager all the way to the top. Save that. And you'll notice now I have my pager up top. So that's the Flippy module. Extremely easy. But if you're building a blog site or a site that you're going to have a lot of articles on and you want users to be able to easily flip forward and backward through various posts on your Drupal 7 website, go ahead and give the Flippy module a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks again to Drupalize.me, and thank you for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. We'll see you next time.